I needed to restake the sunflowers that I didn't restake previously as they have grown considerably since then. Hence I am down the drive cutting some more stakes from the bamboo. We are now on the uphill climb to Christmas. I say uphill climb rather than downhill slide as the former indicates that there is still much to do and some effort is going to be required to achieve all we want to achieve before then. Whereas a downhill slide tends to indicate that we're coasting, which I can assure you we are not yet. However, once we get there, we will definitely be enjoying a few days relaxing with the family. We have and continue to experience unseasonably wet weather. This means with the added warmth of summer that things are growing and multiplying at a rapid rate. Sadly this includes mosquitoes. This area where I'm working is obviously a breeding ground for them and they were hungry. From memory the ones that you can hear are the males. The ones that eat you are the females. I'm not usually bothered by them too much, but these guys were really out to get me. Anyway, enough of this. I rotated the bamboo as I cut the shoots off as it enabled me to cut them off more cleanly due to the way the bypass secateurs work. I cut the length of bamboo at about 3.5 meters depending on where the knuckle was in the bamboo as I wanted the ends of both pieces to be sealed so to speak and if you cut it at the knuckle in the middle of it then that's what you get. It just tends to rot less if it, the water can't go up inside. We have family coming from near and far for the first time in a few years, so that is quite exciting. The ones travelling from overseas have had to deal with several cancelled flights and the associated nightmare of trying to rebook another one, but I can confirm that they, and their baggage, made it all the way, which in the current environment is a thing to give thanks for. This recording has just been interrupted by a phone call. Sadly, uh, a, a section of the family that was travelling from within New Zealand can no longer come as one of them has come down with COVID. 
it's still out there people and so that's not great news as they were really looking forward to catching up with everyone maybe there will still be time please remember what Christmas is really about and that is the coming to earth of God as man in order to be the saviour of the world without knowing and believing that all is lost and life has no eternal purpose so as you give and receive this Christmas remember the saviour who gave the greatest gift i.e. himself I hope you have a truly wonderful Christmas filled with love if you are traveling please be extra careful God willing I will be back with more content in 2023 I will talk about that further on in the video it may be a while before that happens so if you haven't already you may want to hit the subscribe button no pressure on my part for you to do that though thank you for your time This morning I got out and I went down the drive to cut some more uh, bamboo stakes which you will have seen in the video. Uh, I needed long ones uh, for the sunflowers. Uh, you will have observed through the videos that they have grown and grown and grown. Well here they now are with their new stakes. So you can see that uh, this one is already starting to blossom and this one's not far behind and I can no longer reach the top of this one uh, oh, it's it's up there still <laughs> and this one's the same so uh, they're nudging I'm gonna say 2.3 2.4 meters they can go to 3.5 uh, I don't think they will at least I hope not because they're going to run out of stake but that's okay I have now restaked all of these ones with longer stakes so that should they decide to also reach for the sky they can be supported I have all of these stakes tied off to the fence uh, it's just much easier because I've poked them into the ground a little way and then I tie them off and uh, they can't go anywhere that's it for now I may well come back later when it's darkish and uh, and show you the lights that I've put along there just for a bit of fun because we have family coming and some of them are quite young they always appreciate the lights not that the older ones don't but yeah I'll see you a bit later Good morning, and just as I start filming, a noisy engine starts next door, which is going to get noisier. See, told you, they're cutting concrete. I might just abandon this and come back to it later, I think. Well, here we are. It is, I'm going to say almost Christmas because I can't remember the date, but that's okay. I thought I would give you a quick review of the sunflowers. And the bumblebee has found it already. Biggest one is around here. And 
and the tallest one is here. So I would say that tall one's nudging, well, two and a half meters anyway. You can no doubt hear the tui singing in the distance. Good afternoon. This is a bit of a round out for the year and opportunity to wish you a, a wonderful Christmas uh, and also to give you a bit of an insight into what is on the program for next year. So uh, this past year I've moved one shed, done the wall and the fence and finished off the, the second the wooden shed uh, and uh, taking you along for the journey and also the as part of the wooden shed there was the, uh, the barrel and bird bath which you may be able to see where is it? up there up there uh, just a heads up on that I think the uh, overflow is leaking from that so I may yet have to pull that apart again and have another look at it anyway so next year I will I'm planning to anyway to start out the year by sorting out this area down here where I took out the Fijos and so the plan is to uh, to drop this this ground level here down a bit and to retain all the way down through here and to the corner uh, at a lower level and put a fence there probably similar to what I've done just recently up the top there and this will be actually where I will park my trailer so the trailer can back in here at a lower level uh, and it will be make it much easier for me to drag the full fadges onto the trailer uh, so that's the plan for this, all of this area here. Uh, you will have seen in the earlier bit of video that uh, over the last week I have trimmed all the way down the driveway and cut things back and so it's good to have that done. It's something that I have to do every, about every six months um, and so I will need to go down there once all the agapanthus have finish flowering and deadhead all of those and clamber all over the bank to do that but that's a month or two away and then once I've done this little project then the next thing I do need to do uh, is to build my timber rack around the side here so all of this timber needs to go into a rack which it will do up against the, my workshop here now it may be that those two projects get switched around and that I do the timber rack first. I haven't really decided on that. Um, but yeah, I'll 
I'll decide when I get to that point. The other thing uh, that has some priority and will run in conjunction with the trailer park area is to retain below this retaining wall. So this bank area here, as you can probably tell, it's quite steep uh, and it's just clay and it it's a pain to look after and bits keep dropping off so I'm actually going to put a retaining wall in along here as well maybe even two uh, shorter ones so that will happen at the same time as the trailer park because I will probably get a digger in uh, to do some work for both of those um, at the same time so that's that I do need to finish off um, the front of the workshop and get that painted and also this other side needs to be painted uh, in the same colour and I need to deal with the, the roof all the, all the grot on the roof as well and then once that those projects are done then I need to deal with this retaining wall here so as you can probably tell from the post uh, it's got a bit of a lean on and so I need to remove all of this retaining wall along here get it straightened up so that it actually lines up with the one you can see in the distance there I will take this concrete out uh, and then completely redo this area uh, ultimately the plan is to put a glass house in there whether that happens only time will tell So those are the initial projects lined up for next year. Uh, there are other things as well in the mix. Um, it'll be a bit slow going for the first month or two, uh, purely because the, the B&Bs will be busy and I won't have a lot of time outside of that. So once again, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and thank you for the time that you've put into watching videos along the way hopefully i can bring you some more uh, entertainment and uh, and also some insights as well next year so god bless and uh, i'll see you next year bye